um, we both agreed to participate in the Northern California Center for Afro-American History and Bias Oral History Project. Ida Williams. Yes. Percy Williams. Yes. yes. Okay, um, first of all, I usually ask people to spell their names as well as give their age and occupation. Okay, I-B-A, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, and I'm 70 and retired. I'm Percy Williams. Yes. Yes. And uh, I am uh, 78 years old, going on 79. Years old. And uh, we have been in this place about two years. You're retired. You're right? retired. That's well, I know that, that, but I'm just saying that's what she asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Um, where are you originally from? I'm from Indiana. I was born in Indiana, but I was raised in California. How long have you been, you've been living here? Ever since life? a baby. Yeah. Okay. Louisiana. Wow. You know, all oh, 60 years. Wow. <laughs> I can still hear the accent too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ken, how long have you both been married? 40. Be 46 years in December. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how many children and what are their One, ages? 35. Okay. One boy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where were you living at the time of the fire? Uh, 166. We were living in the Parkwood apartment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a, we had a penthouse there. Okay. And how long have you been living there? Twelve years. Okay. Hot picking up. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you were renting for twelve. Yes. Twelve years. Yes. Okay. Um. Did you plan on staying there for, you know, were you planning on moving in the near future? Or was this supposed to be? Well, we a permanent home. We kind of looked at it as our permanent home. Okay. It was real big, so we were might have gotten out of it after because it was about twenty five hundred square feet. It was huge. Mm -hmm. Could you describe the the apartment itself in terms of how many rooms and? Oh my! So we had three bed three bedrooms, living room, dining room, kitchen. And a huge master bedroom mm -hmm. with a sitting room in it, mm -hmm. and two baths. It was a big, big place, very big. Walk in uh, closet. Oh, five mm -hmm. more. You had one in yours, mm -hmm. and yeah. I had one, and yeah. then one in the yeah, other yeah, TV right. room. Mm -hmm. It's about four or five of them. Mm -hmm. Why did you move there originally? Well, my son was living in that building, and they just redid it, and he came home and said, oh, you guys ought to live up here by me. So we have a house. We had a house. And we said, well, we might think about it. So we just decided to move there. He liked it, and he wanted to live there. Wow. <laughs> just off a spur of the moment, you know. Yeah. The son was told, you up and look at the place today. You don't wait till you up and look. You get up. She couldn't get me away from it, so we started writing. I went <laughs> write a check out. <laughs> oh, so you liked it on site when you first yeah. started? Yeah. It's a beautiful um, place. Mm -hmm. Beautiful place. Yeah. Um, did you have any reservations about moving up there at all? Mm -mm. No. No. Okay. What did you like about living there or the neighborhood? Yeah, it was a nice, it was a nice neighborhood. We liked the privacy that we had uh, where we, would, we were just all alone. In our, on the top, on the fourth floor, and it was nice. It was pretty, and it was very nice there. Very nice. Yeah, it was a lot. You a know, lot but people didn't bother you nothing. You know, me, you had your own good, and there was no rottenism around and nothing. See, and it wasn't well. It was a nice place. It was. We've been talking about There's a lot of nice long, conveniences you know. that they. And my son, you know, he liked it too because he. Yeah, he lived time. just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so he was also burnt out too, you said? No, he wasn't there when no. this happened. Oh. He had moved. He had moved up yes. before then. Yeah, because he went to Santa Rosa. Oh. He had to go to Santa Rosa. Yeah. Okay. Um, did this home have any particular special meaning to you? If you had been living there 12 years, you know, was there any special meaning? Well, we meaning? had it. The only thing is we had all of everything we owned there. <laughs> See you. everything. Yeah. No, we didn't have even pocket handkerchiefs that night. You didn't what? We didn't have a pocket handkerchief left. That night. Oh wow! <laughs> Everything was gone, including the pocket handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, well I guess um, we can talk about the day of the fire and how you both experienced it. Well, we weren't there. 
were there at all? My son was there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we weren't there. Where were you? In Reno. When, had, you, when had you left for Reno? Um, what did we do? Seven o'clock that morning. Yeah. And how okay. did you and how did you hear about the fire? Well, you know, we kept hearing. He was looking at the ball game when we got there. We kept hearing about this big fire in Oakland, but they never said where. But my son called, and when that phone rang and it was him, I said, oh, that must be us there. Wow. He called and told us that we had lost everything. Wow. Yeah, he just barely got out. Uh, so how... Excuse me. Go but ahead. the bus driver, he told me, he said, something wrong over this way. It's kind of, he said, I've been driving up here for years. I've never seen nothing like that, that you know, yeah, it just struck did. him. And he said, he said, well, I'm going to keep on. He said, but I know this way wasn't like that. And he kept the wind, he kept saying kept that wind. wind. And we got in here and just could barely, uh, my son was waiting with the car, and uh, we could see the smoke back over that way, you know, from there. Wow. But they wouldn't let us in, so we couldn't go in the place. I mean, they closed in that. So he said, don't worry about it. If you're gone anyway, so no, it's make no trip up here. So this was the 7 o'clock in the morning before, when you had left? Oh, we, yeah, when we left, when we were on our way to Sacramento, the bus driver kept saying about the wind. Yeah. He'd never seen that kind of a wind, and there must be something, you know, wrong. Mm -hmm. But when we came back in the evening, we could still see the black smoke, but we knew it had already. So had you intended just to go for a day? Or? Oh, we just, yeah, no, we stayed overnight. Oh, okay. We went up Sunday and stayed overnight. Okay, so you didn't come back to the come next up. day. So you came back Monday and... Yeah, everybody. There were a lot of people there that were in that fire. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. We weren't the only oh, ones. Wow. No, there were other people. So what they did was come back earlier. It was four yeah. bus drivers in our group. Yeah, four taking bus. People up to, wow. Yeah, they want to take it, people up, bring them back. Bring them back yeah. So when you came back, what happened? Well, we, uh, my son met us with his friend, and we went to the friend's house, who's not far from here, because we got off at the plaza. And our uh, friend's father got us a place over at the Marriott, and that's where we stayed for 40 days. Yeah, yeah right, 40 days. It's like three meals a day and 40 days. Yeah, well. Huh. So, um, what did what did you start to do to kind of rebuild your lives? If you lost everything, what was you know what did you do the first day? Well, but when we first started out, of course, we were going to all the things, getting signing up for everything you could get. Mm -hmm. and, you know, we went to the Red Cross. Oh, they had millions of things, places where mm -hmm. you went. You know, government places to give you clothes, money for clothes and or vouchers, rather, and every store was given a big discount on, you know, on everything. So we just kind of started from there. We got up that next morning and started going, trying to collect everything we could collect. <laughs> but, you know, we never did let it get us down. Oh, no. We never did let it get us down. I told her, I'm not going to cry over nothing, you know what I mean? It's 40 mm -hmm. years, you know, I mean, so that's it, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, we wasn't laughing and all, you know, but we were not <laughs> sad about mm -hmm. that for that reason. But uh, you just be in a place that long, about 11, 12 years, wasn't mm -hmm. it, was there constantly going. You know, they had a beautiful place, you know, mm -hmm. everything. Was we, that just, we had just gotten, you know, activated to it, you know, everything right close to it, because I told my well, well, maybe we might want to go somewhere else someday, you know. You say, mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? But we had close to swimming pool and, and well, practically everything, because we were right there building 166, and that's the main one coming in, you know. Mm -hmm. But there was other ones up there, like all, but not quite, I wouldn't say they were quite officially like this one. They had three bedrooms. Some of them up there had two bedrooms. Mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. I don't, we don't know if it is. But one of the managers at that time we were there, he, she said, oh, wow, I could live here, you know, mm -hmm. to go. So they come in and bring in some stuff. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, was there anything, um, I wanted to go into some detail about yeah. some of the stuff you lost that was really personal? Oh, yeah. or mm. My great-great-grandfather's yes, huge Bibles, and books that had been from my great-grandparents' home. And we had loads and loads of beautiful books and silver and china and just, you know, all, everything like that. But I think that, and pictures from way, way, way back my great-grandfather, all all kind of pictures, because I had a great aunt that lived to 90, so see, she had all of her, all mm -hmm. the old pictures from when she was, you know, younger. so 
the memorabilia is what you really, really miss. Mm -hmm. All those things I can never get back. Well, it was some stuff that she had from a mother and a grandmother and a parents or me. I mean, so far back, you know, way back. It never you know, replaced. It and they, uh, I mean, we had a Bible of her great aunt. Oh, it was this big and everybody was born. You know, that's the thickest Bible I've ever seen in my life, you know what I mean? You could, I mean, it was that thick and about that long, you know what I mean? Beautiful. And then she had huge pictures of her grandfather, big, long, professional, and wow. <laughs> long coats. You yeah, wouldn't know like, about I that. I lost a lot of memory. <laughs> mm. Lots and lots. So why do you think it? Um, you weren't as devastated personally from it, even though you lost all of this? You know? Because my son was in there and he barely got out. Yeah, and to me that was the biggest thing for me. And I'd already always been taught, you know, give up, you just start on in again. That's the way I was raised. Mm -hmm. So how did you finally reach to this apartment? Oh, we had looked here quite a, a when they were building them, we kind of looked at them. And I kind of knew the floor plan and the girl that was here. So, but when we first called, they didn't have anything here because everybody had just, you know, come into all these places. So we finally called again, and she said, well, she didn't have anything but maybe before Christmas because that was in October. She was there 40 days. Then we stayed in Santa Rosa with my son for two or three weeks. We came in here December 13th. The girl called and said, well, we finally got a place. So we just went from there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, so you weren't able to retrieve anything at no. all, okay? Yes, my son did. My two mink coats. That's, That's all. all. <laughs> <laughs> but I was thankful for those. <laughs> so how was his experience uh, when he recounted to you, Tantus? How did he find about it? You said he barely escaped. He did. He came down in the elevator. There was no other way out. And you know, you're never supposed to use an elevator. Mm -hmm. He was lucky, though. And he was lucky. He was because Lord, I was just afraid every time I see that You don't come out of those mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no key, no He nothing. just made it. Just made it out of there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that, to me, was my blessing. Mm -hmm. The other things are insignificant, even though the memorabilia was the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. But things, you can get things if you, you know. Mm -hmm. I had loads and loads of beautiful, beautiful things, but that's not as important as my child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you've been living here basically almost two years. Two years, yeah. We came here December the 13th. Mm -hmm. How has it been living here? How Very have you nice. adjusted? Yeah, fine. How long did it take you to start buying everything? And oh, well, I back started to right away. <laughs> <laughs> I shop every day for I don't know how long. <laughs> she is some shopper though out there. She's the best shopper I've ever seen in my life. She, she going for Everybody days said. and she's going. She won't get her mind off nothing until I see what she wanted this. I want this and I'm going to get her something. And she would go every day. You're going? I said, no, well, go ahead and say if you're tired of going. A friend of ours came over two or three times to help us. You know. But everybody yeah. said they never seen anybody get mm -hmm. like we did to get a house together. It looks like we've been living here forever. Mm. We just went right into getting our stuff. Mm. We never stopped. But you know, it's a funny thing about that. I, uh, during the time that uh, we were coming from Reno, a lot of things come across my mind, you know, if I wanted it, she served it, my wife had did. She had uh, three fur coats and oodles of boots and things that you can't be playing and all kinds of uh, silverware, you know, China and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. It just didn't, didn't, didn't bring me down to you know point like I thought it would to me. But we went right on into it, and she just every every morning we get up, and fix breakfast for me. You gonna go out today? Well, yes. <laughs> if I get tired, I go. <laughs> but she is really the best shopper I've ever seen. Just what she really wants in that place. She got to have something over there. That's not what I want. I don't want. <laughs> So were you insured? No. Oh, no. Mm -mm. So was this financially hard getting back on your feet? Yeah, or? Yeah. a little. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't easy. It takes a little time. You know, yeah. Mm. yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, I love these questions. I can't ask because you weren't there um, today. Yeah. Yeah. My son probably should, should be, be here to so answer. Good. But oh, um, yeah, because he. Yeah, we weren't really, really there, but we just heard from him and Deanna 
you know, Deanna. Mm -hmm. Because that's who called him mm -hmm. to tell, well, she was calling me, she thought, and he was there because he comes in from Santa Rosa. He's a mortician mm -hmm. and he was living in Santa Rosa, but he came in on weekends to be home. And she was calling him to tell him there's a little fire back there, I think, you know. And he said when he first got a look, it looks like it's far away. It was far away. Mm -hmm. Before he could hardly turn around, it was right down on him. You couldn't get out in the way. Couldn't get out of that way. roof at one all. One way in, one way out. That's yeah. all. Mm -hmm. But you they drove out about, together. That back of the house and building was seven of the same building I tell you. And it's just that high. I mean, you couldn't steal none or take none. You, it's, it's impossible for you to get out of there. Well, if it was just close by. Yeah, you know, you mountains. could go up the top yeah. back you there. You could only yeah. go one yeah, way. Yeah, one way. Could not climb the mountains. Yeah. And, you know, it no, was you all, couldn't do nothing. It had no. its own natural all enclosure, way which was, was it. fine for some things, but yeah. it became a death trap for mm -hmm. us during a time like that. Mm -hmm. So you guys never wanted to try, you're not planning on moving back in oh, that no, area they, again? No, I'm, I'm happy right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want to, mm -hmm. I'm not, we're not that, we, we're not interested in moving. We're not movers, so, you know, once I get settled in, I'm, this I'm is happy our second, right here. second moving in our life. <laughs> <laughs> it is the second move? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. What happened well, the before? third, no, we had our own house. Oh, we had our own place there, On California yeah. Street. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, no, we don't, we're not big time, we're not movers, so. Once I got this fixed the way I wanted it, this is where I'll be. Unless something yeah. else comes up in my life. Uh, so you had had a home before this. Oh, yeah. You had oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. You moved to the apartment. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we had our own home. Had you had any uh, previous experiences with fires no, at all? No, never. Mm. Never. Do you go? Do you attend the neighborhood meetings or the? I was talking to Mr. and Mrs. Coleman. They oh, were she, talking about. She went to a lot of the yeah. I didn't do any. You of that. didn't do any of that. Mm -hmm. didn't I do didn't need that. Uh, <laughs> I know it took her. She said it took her. It's taken her a lot longer for some, some reason to get herself mm -hmm. back into. Because I think they lived over there, but she didn't. I don't think she really bought furniture and didn't any sense to a lot. I know she's told me. Have she, you had any experiences, you know, when you're used to something or you're looking for something and then it dawns on you that, that you it's don't have it, that yes. you don't have it. And you did, at first it was really, probably because I'd walk in the store and knowing that I needed things, but I'd look at some, I said, I don't need that, I've got all. Then it would dawn on me, no, you don't have that. <laughs> well, you Even to I, a can opener yeah. or a bobby pin <laughs> or... Yeah, you know, it used to, uh, when I'd get up to go look for something, you know, I so should be there. But my wife said, what are you looking for? I said, my coat or so. She said, honey, it's just some fire put us on. You know? <laughs> we did do that. Yeah, I did. You know, I, got, but I couldn't help myself, you know. I come to find out. She said, what are you looking for? And I said, I have certain, certain shit. She said, honey, it went along with the fire. You ain't got nothing. <laughs> that is something that seems yeah. to be a yeah, thing that yeah. plagues you. Mm. you. You really... Because you've had it all, all this time, you know, and you get ready to cook or to do something. Oh, boy, I don't have that pot. I don't have a pot. <laughs> you never see so many boots and shoes and oh. pants. And all that. <laughs> she had one closet completely. <laughs> she started me off with one, one suit. Oh, <laughs> then she started pushing, 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 pushing. Push. I said, oh, my God. I think that's what that. made him want to move. Our house yeah. had small closets. Yeah. <laughs> and, he more yeah. and when he saw those great big walk-in closets, he said, yeah, this is what I want. It was beautiful, though. You didn't have to be. When we first got married, we had a small down home we bought down there. And we had a little small closet. <laughs> and then she she pushed me out of that, you know. Like, oh, wow. <laughs> and then I we told my mother, we're well, going to move. Said, now you be worried about it. You don't have to worry no more about it. You don't have any space. You don't have this. <laughs> <laughs> How is it adjusting to just losing all that personal memorabilia? I mean, yeah, that bothers me sometimes. But I, I just decided I wasn't going to let anything really bother me. I can't get it back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, that's just the kind of person that I am. Can't get it back. you got to go forward. You cannot keep looking back. Or you'll never get one any place. Yeah, but I know they said a lot of people are still going to therapy and things. But no, I, I really was not raised that way. 
So I guess I have to attribute to that. Mm -hmm. That we weren't, you know, back, you move ahead. I've always heard that ever since I was little. Uh, just We just got right in and started sitting around moping about that. Making your own self ill. <laughs> yeah. Do you think, and um, since this is for the, uh, an African American museum, do you think that uh, African Americans were affected any differently by the fire? Oh, or? I think, I think it would be individuals mm -hmm. that would certainly, mm -hmm. you know. I often say, if I were not able to have gone out and bought things and got back in, you know, mm -hmm. got my self set set up in some kind of decent way to live. I probably would have been a lot more down, mm -hmm. but I think that could happen with anyone. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that many. Well, yes, there there were white people, and I don't think they got back into. A lot of them just took anything. See, that's another thing I wouldn't do. Yeah, you need to. I didn't move any place. We stayed in the Marriott until we really knew what we were where we were going. Mm -hmm. But see, some people just took things, and then they were unhappy with it or where it was, or, you know. Mm. But I, I think African Americans take things pretty well in stride. They're used to... <laughs> just know everybody says that. Yeah, they're used to knowing what it is to it. not always have, you yeah. know. So I think most of them took it pretty well. All the people that I know that I have talked to, I guess except for Barbara, this Barbara, and mm. I know another young lady that She's doing pretty good now, but she had to go to with other groups and talk about it all the time. And uh, but mm -hmm. basically, like the aunt, well, the aunt and I, I guess we were, we just kind of went on. Mm -hmm. We never talk about it. Wow. What about uh, support systems right after the fire? All the different support groups and how it was covered and. You thought that was My well done. and and those things. Yes, I thought they did a pretty good job this time. Much different, they say, than they did for the earthquake where we were concerned. Because mm -hmm. I think we still didn't probably get as much as some, but mm -hmm. Are as you talking, were you African Americans oh, didn't okay. get as much maybe as some. You had to kind of speak up. Mm -hmm. We would, you know, I guess they feel we don't need as much, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> we were all good talkers, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so what has it generally been like, probably just in the two years this here? Yeah, we've been pretty happy. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Been yeah. pretty good. We haven't. <laughs> no, no anniversary <laughs> celebrations. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you make your own happiness, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right? You don't oh, think that you're down. That first Christmas, we had people into dinner. And yeah. We, yeah, we were, we're had people up here. I didn't even have a sofa. Yeah. <laughs> but we had a real big, pretty Christmas tree. Yeah. We had we had a nice time. Mm -hmm. We enjoyed it, you know. My son went out and got a big tree tall. <laughs> As I yeah, say, it was me. It was and and my husband. It would be because Bruce was not because he could have been. He could have been gone in that elevator. That, I think about that a lot of times. Yeah, see, that's one, one thing that I do so think about. The other things are very know, minimal. That it was possible, uh, you know, that he escaped from that thing. Yeah. You s yeah. They've got some tapes we've seen on TV. They show him running. Yeah, sure. It was, it was really a scary time. Yeah. He, well, he got out and then got her two for a coat. Yeah, and he was and he running. had him on his shoulder. And, and you could see the head. fire <laughs> was right behind. The, you know, he said the ground was hot. Everything was hot. The flames he were said that everywhere. heat was hitting right in the back. Well, I think the wires were so falling by that time, you know, beginning to yeah. go down by that yeah. time. But with us, I tell everybody, I'm sure that's our big thing is that we, and then we weren't actually there. That might make a big difference mm -hmm. too, mm -hmm. to see you, to see everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah just go, you know. Okay. What kind of support did you get from friends? Who are not necessarily oh, everybody. Oh, no, my goodness, did we ever get support? Oh, they just, I kept records of it. They just came to uh, over there. We must have gotten over five or six thousand dollars from friends. Oh, uh, more. Yeah. And all kind, just, and even since we've been here, they they just brought us these, my 
uh, goddaughter just brought these to me, and this just lately, yeah. and all the things that are in my cabinet there, every that's been all given to me. Mm. Oh yeah, we had an overwhelming, overwhelming, and I mean they came like the first day that they could see. It. Everybody wanted to stay with them, and everybody was just they just. I mean, they just came, two of them came with $500 the second day we were there. And they got them just right in, but we were in bed, you know, we called, you know, they, we'd be up there. They just want to see you. Yeah, we want to see me. how you are. And they come up, him and his wife, reach that one, boy, I said, now that almost got me. Now that <laughs> Yeah, one, it did, it did it make really, tears come I, I held it, I held it back, but it's almost, but how, those kind of people, you know, they be with. And oh they both my. kiss us and hug us, you know, and they say, here's a little something for you. Well, five one hundred dollar bills, you know. Yeah, you know. we had two come and bring it <laughs> and back. And then thirty minutes later, another group. And another then thing, you know. groups. Oh, gee, yeah. they everybody came and brought us hundreds. Of oh, it was just we just received so much mm. till it that would make tears come to your eyes. Mm. We did. We received a lot of a lot of love and a lot of you know, and everybody wanted to take you dinner and everybody wants. <laughs> But you know, we 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 uh we uh had a lot of friends, you know. Oh, and we boy. didn't try to ignore anybody, you know. For that concern, you going to know up there. We just had living, you know. What I mean, that's all we want to do is not to worry about Tom, Dick, and Harry, you know. What I mean, with nothing going. But I worried so much about her, the stuff that she lost, that I thought maybe someday she'd go back, open my closet up, and just <laughs> couldn't get in it anyway. <laughs> And I haven't bought like that. I no, haven't even felt no, the need to. No. I just didn't. But as far as our friends, boy, yeah. they yeah. were outstanding. I mean, they they were right there, and they didn't tarry. They had big rats yeah. up in the papers oh. about it, you know, and everything. And everybody they in San Francisco knew what was. And everybody said, "You hear about Christian and wife so on?" <laughs> So what happened? Oh, so and so, and then they get get together over there, and they start to send the calling and everything. You know? Oh yeah, we certainly did have a bond. Yeah. We really did. Oh, mm -hmm. and and I I retired from the telephone company and management, and they sent us four thousand dollars. Yeah. Tax free. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So we yeah. we were we were very well treated. Very well treated. Mm -hmm. And as I say, people are still bringing us things, you know. They came and they brought us, oh, the dishes and glasses and just everything you can imagine, you know. So much so, I thought, I don't have any more space. <laughs> <laughs> we had silverware we had never used. <laughs> never, never yeah, used. Yeah, no, our friends have been yeah. just outstanding. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah. I was just going to ask, is there anything else that I haven't asked that you'd like to talk about or add? Well, I, I think it's really covered very well. <laughs> we'll probably be different from anybody yeah. else you've got. Well, we had, we had whatever happened, one way or another, we had never had an idea of being uh, saying anything other different that is all right, you know what I mean, not to push something up. You know, somebody want to do this, build this up to force them, and the other one go on. Don't do that, you know, that's not right. So, so we don't have to do that. We just thank God just that thank we all That's all we did, you know, and that yeah. was it that everybody seems to be okay. But it'll take you a long time in here tonight if you stay <laughs> here before us. <laughs> well, we're, we're, really, we're really very comfortable. But we try to remember we, as close as we can, you know what yeah. I mean? We don't, and since we're going over or nothing, but just as close as we can possibly say, but as far as you concerned, as what you could do, how you can do. We had, she had the biggest mirror I've ever seen in my life in the for home. Mm -hmm. No, and, we had that. We had real, I mean, yeah. But I like this one too. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm a I do. Good I really, really do. Good this yeah. is this is nice space. Yeah. This is good, you know, nice mm -hmm. space. For See us. up there, we had three bedrooms. You get on oh, the bed, and you got to go to this room and this one. Yeah, and this a guest room is over here, and then the master huge. bedroom there. Uh, it was huge. I'm but good. I'm just, I'm very comfortable here, and I can go a lot more. I don't have to worry about doing so much cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot smaller than the other one. Well, it's about half the size. Half the size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have two bedrooms here, and we have two full baths. We have our own washer and dryer mm. here. So what more? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We're in my here. It's not bad at all. It's We've had five or six parties here <laughs> <laughs> since we've been here. <laughs> It's a nice house. Yeah. Thank you. 
Yeah, we, we really yeah. like it. We really do. We're enjoying it. So, and this is near a lot. We walk a lot. We can walk over to the plaza. We walk a lot. Yeah. And I think that would be one of the things now that I would think about moving back up there because to go to the grocery store, you had to go all the way down to Claremont. And that's driving down the hills. Now, the older you get, you don't feel like doing all that. Mm -hmm. It would be, it's more hilly, you know. Although they're asking us, they're making big offers for you to come back if they, when they put it back up. Oh, they're planning to rebuild oh, the yeah, apartment building? Rebuild. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to be condos. And they've already said all they're going to give you. And they would like to have those, the people back. But you are not planning on it? I'm that. not really planning on it, unless, they, unless it's so good that I couldn't dream this. <laughs> but we don't really want to live in the hills. I, I don't really care about that. And really, that never was our big thing when we moved to where we were. We no, never thought about it happened. being, our, just being in the hills. It was just the place was, was what we wanted. Yeah. We really never thought about that. Mm. I know a lot of people, that's a big thing with them, you know. But even when people would say it, I was... You know, I said, you know, I never really thought that. I just loved the place. Mm -hmm. So we, we're we not really into, as long as I'm, I'm happy here, I'm, I'm just as happy here. I'm not looking for that kind. We, we weren't, we're not that good. We're just plain old folks. And if we happened to be there because we liked it. And it was a lot of security, very good security. Yeah, and we still have our friends. We haven't cut in our friends all. You know, we still have oh, friends. Oh, we still have the same ones. And we're the same ones. Yeah. We're this age. Yeah, although we're different people around here, too, you know, the nationality. But, I mean, the straight we off We still have all know, our old friends, friends yes. Yeah. But uh, the security was very good there. We mm -hmm. were very, mm -hmm. we were happy with that because, as we say, they just had the one gate. Did you ever go there? No, I've never been there. And you had to go through a person to get in. And you couldn't come unless they called to see if we were there. You could not just come in there. Mm. You had to go through the security gate. Everybody came through. They took their license numbers and all that. It was a very secure place. That was one of the things that we liked very much. Mm. It was real secure, very secure. And then, as I say, we had it was bigger than our house, actually. It was, it was larger than our, our house. Mm. Where is your previous house? On California, between Channing and Vancouver. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because this was yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, maybe fifteen. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you can think of it. <laughs> this is very uplifting. So. <laughs> oh well, I'm glad because you know it just. Well, I guess everyone, like we say, is have been just raised differently and things affect everyone differently. But I don't know why from the day that I just said, hey, even my son said to me, he thought I was just going to die off, you know, when he told me that I'd lost everything. He said, mother, I said, you lost everything. And I said, well, are you okay? And he said, yeah. <laughs> and that's the way he and I have gone right on. We have not stopped. He's been very supportive to me. We just, yeah. just picked up our lives and went on the way we were going and enjoying it. <laughs> she said <still> mine. <laughs> <laughs> Be doing that for yeah, a long time. Yeah, stop that. <laughs> no, he's been very supportive, though, very supportive. So, and, and as I say, it seems like we just, seems like a lot of things just fell into place mm -hmm. it seems like maybe this is where we were supposed to be mm -hmm. so you know i just everybody i know what you're saying because even my minister said it to me i said but isn't that what you preach mm -hmm. he said yeah but everybody's not taking it like you yeah, are <laughs> yeah, it's really surprising yeah he says everybody's not doing that and everybody you know people say it to me they don't even i don't even ever talk about it mm -hmm. There's no need of talking about spilt milk. You got to try to get you some more. Yeah. So, My yeah, he was, he was very surprised. He thought I was going to be down, you know. Mm -hmm. I sent up a, a box of clothes for little kids, you know what I mean, but not kids, but young people. Do. And she said, boxes and boxes of shoes and clothes and all that stuff. And 
one that was next door, I think it was a white girl, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. She didn't have I, I, I picked up three or four big cardboard boxes and filled them with all the clothes that she told me to give next to him. You know, he didn't want her to, that husband didn't want to take well, medicine. She said her husband, but she took them. <laughs> she said, I'm taking them. <laughs> What clothes are these? Oh, he's talking about when we were in our home. Yeah, that was in our home. I used to, yeah, when I, you know, when I clean my closets, I'd give, I'd give away. I don't keep, mm -hmm. I don't like to keep. I kept more up there because of the fact that the closets were so big that I'm real, now that's one of the things that bothers me because we had so many good things that could have been given to someone to enjoy. Mm. But we just didn't, Yeah, that's what we like about the things we, that, we had. We want know. somebody else to, you know, enjoy it. You know, we yeah. can do it. And I miss the books, my all the books that we had were priceless. You tell about all them Bibles and things yeah. we got there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had a box card box back then. Oh, we had a box. Because <laughs> my people were very into education and black history. I had lots of that kind of thing. They mm -hmm. always were into that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, those things, you just, you don't even find them anymore. Because mm -hmm. those were bought 50, 60, 70 years ago. So, you know, what that would be. Just and you wouldn't remember the mood, I mean, the pictures that we, her family had, you know. Yeah. And big long mustache, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was my great-grandfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We only went I back there everything. once or twice. I yeah, I all, yeah, You know, way back. I had way back. As a, my great grandfather mm -hmm. was born to a slave in in Kentucky, but mm -hmm. he left there and came to Indiana. And mm -hmm. he, uh, his mother was a black woman, and you know, the white father. But he left because he had daughters, and he said he was he he didn't want anybody messing with his daughters. So I had all of that, you know. I had a lot of things that went way, way, way back, way back. Mm -hmm. But. I guess what's to be will be. <laughs> but all, almost all of our family is almost gone. Now, yeah, you know, we don't have too much. I lost the uh, last one, a brother, about three or four years ago. So now I don't have any of my wife or the son. Mm. And um, five, five girls and two boys. And the last one was about two years ago. They just petered out, you know, as a young man. I didn't ask you if I could fix it. Oh, no, that's sorry. Fine. That's fine. I wasn't thinking. <laughs> that's really. That's fine. <laughs> well, thank you both. Yes, mm -hmm. we've enjoyed meeting you. Yeah.